Now here's an identity. Sine squared of an angle plus sine times cos divided by tan, all of that same angle, equals one in the end. How are we ever gonna get those to be the same thing? Well, the first step is to know what dividing by tan actually means. D tan is always the same as sine over cos. So I'm gonna rewrite it as sine over cos right there. Now I'm dividing by a fraction. Do you remember how to divide by fractions? I'm sure you do. You keep the top of the, well, you keep the thing that you're dividing the same, but the thing you're dividing by turns into its reciprocal. This becomes cos over sine instead of sine over cos, and the division becomes multiplication. Dividing by a fraction is the same as multiplying by its reciprocal. You know what's great about this? You have sine times cos times cos over sine, but the timesing by sine and the dividing by sine cancel each other out. You're left with cos times cos here. And so the sine squared theta hasn't been touched. And what we have here is cos times cos. That's cos squared of that same angle theta. Sine squared plus cos squared is the Pythagorean identity, and it's always equal to one for every angle. Oh, fortuitously, that equals the same right-hand side as this. That's wonderful. Let's celebrate with a therefore statement. Therefore, the left side equals the right side, and also the sine squared of an angle plus the sine of that angle times the cos of that angle, all divided by the tan of that angle, ends up canceling to one for every angle you can think of. Tough to believe, but very true. Best of luck.